Welcome to a video from MagiciousLifestyle.com. This video we're going to look at how we can use the new Lumia 950 950XL up on the big screen TV without the Continuum Dock. Uh, I have reviewed the Continuum Dock and uh, if you've got the 950XL it actually does come as part of a special offer from Microsoft. But if you're not using the dock and uh, or you haven't got a dock and you want to get it up on the TV, get it up in the living room, get the phone up there then I'm going to show you how you can do that without using anything like the dock. What we'll be using is a uh, Bluetooth keyboard just to make things easy but actually you can do everything from the phone so I'll show you that so I'm going to use for this I've got a Roku stick plugged into my TV here you can see it in the background and I'm going to be using Miracast so any device that supports Miracast will work with this so it does include the Xbox One I've had issues with the Xbox One on the screen size I've had the best success with the Roku stick but other Roku devices most TVs have got Miracast nowadays new ones so Miracast is a way of uh, extending the screen from a device to the, the big screen and um, that's exactly what we're going to do but we'll still be able to use the phone for phone calls and other stuff. So the first thing you need to do is get your Miracast TV set up and then there's an app on here called Continuum and um, I'm going to say I'm going to use a wireless adapter. You can see here now is the Roku stick, I could use the Xbox. So I do connecting and connect and that's going to again connect up here. Okay, so that's connected now. So you can see on there the uh, Windows desktop and the start menu. Here's my phone, and you see I can use this phone for something else now. Uh, I could open up group music or make a phone call or do whatever I want to do with this phone. And then I've got the Continuum map here, which acts as a trackpad. You see me moving the, the cursor on there. Now I've mentioned that you can use it without a keyboard as well, So, but what I'm going to do, I'll go to the start menu. See there's a bit of a latency with the mouse, but not too bad. Let's go to Microsoft Edge. So in Edge there, I've clicked into the URL box, and as you see on my phone here, it's brought up the uh, keyboard. So I can uh, start typing, and I can uh, use it. Use the on-screen keyboard, or use the on the phone. Like I said, I've got a Bluetooth keyboard connected up, so I can also do it with this, and I can start typing with my Bluetooth keyboard. Type away, use it with Word documents or whatever, and this is great. I could use the Bluetooth mouse as well if I wanted to. Um, any combination of, of uh, Bluetooth devices should work on that. So there we are. So I can use a keyboard use a mouse or you just use the phone. So once you've got it connected up, what can you do with it? Well, you see here I've got the Edge browser. I can click on the start menu. I did click on the start menu on my phone, not on the <laughs> on there. Let's do that. So I click on my phone menu on the start menu there. Do you see the, the apps that are greyed out are ones that aren't compatible with Continuum. So I can use that podcast app on the phone, but it won't work up here on the big screen. The ones that, are, uh, that aren't that are greyed out are uh, fine to use. So, for example, I could go to group music. And there's my nice 60s Christmas album, all playing in group music up on the big screen. So, of course, using a big screen, so that means you want, maybe you want to put video on there. One of the great apps for Windows 10 is the BBC Store app and this is a, a video player from BBC Store so here's a couple of things, let's try and watch a video. So there you can see a video, now this is a video that's actually streaming from BBC Store on my phone but it's actually playing up there on the TV and I can control the volume as well if I hit the volume up and down button here on my phone it controls the volume just playing it on the TV. So it's a good way of getting a uh, video up onto the TV that you've normally got on your phone. And as that's playing, I can still use my phone for a phone call or to check my email or, or whatever else I, I want to do with it. So you've got that flexibility, it's not actually tying your phone up, and which is the sort of the good thing about continuing on the 950 and the 950 Excel. You could do this mirror cast before, but whatever was on the phone was on the TV. This, they are independent, and I can carry on using my phone. So a nice little handy feature. So to get all this working, all you need is a mirror cast enabled TV or dongle like the Roku stick, or like the Xbox One, 
a 950 or a 950 XL that supports uh, continuum over the wireless display and maybe a Bluetooth keyboard or a mouse but you don't have to have them and then you're all up and running. So thanks for watching this video, uh, more on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.